Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while um, and I hope that this time I'm here to be more consistent and staying much more longer. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'd really, really appreciate your support. Please share these videos so that we can gain more subscribers. Please like so that the YouTube algorithm can show other um, YouTube users that this is the type of content that they should be watching. But more than anything, please view, um, I need more views on these videos. Um, so today we'll be talking about spiritual gifts. So God has blessed each believer with spiritual gifts. Do you know what spiritual gifts God has given you? So we will be tapping into or just discussing um, 26 of these spiritual gifts, the definitions and the scriptures for these spiritual gifts. So let's begin. Administration, uh, the ability that God gives to certain believers to organize and coordinate the church towards its divinely appointed mission. It includes the ability to plan, launch and complete ministry related projects to fulfill the needs of God. You can read about this in Luke 14 verses 28 to 30, Acts 6 verses 1 to 7, 1 Corinthians 12 verses 4 and 28, and then Titus 1 verses 5. The second one is Apostle. The ability God gives to certain believers to go where he sends them to preach and teach to people the truth about God. These individuals are often sent to areas where culture and language differences might be evident. You can find this definition if you read Romans 1 verses 1, Galatians 1 verses 1, and 1 Timothy 1 verses 1, and also 1 Peter 1 verses 1. Number three, celibacy. The ability that God gives to certain believers to abstain from sexual interaction willingly and cheerfully to live victoriously overcoming sexual temptations we can read about this in matthew 12 verses 11 and 12 and first corinthians 7 verses 7 and 8 number four discerning of spirits the ability God gives to certain believers to distinguish between truth and error and between the influence of the Holy Spirit and evil spirits. We can read about this in Matthew 16 verses 21 to 23, Acts 5 verses 1 to 11, Acts 16 verses 16 to 18, and 1 John 4 verses 1 to 6. Number five, evangelists. The ability God gives, uh, gives to certain believers to share the gospel with unbelievers in such a way that men and women become Jesus' disciples and responsible members of the church. We can read about this in Acts 5 verses, sorry, in Acts 8 verses 5 and 6 and also 26 to 40 and also Acts 14 verses 21. Ephesians also 4 verses 11 to 14 and 2 Timothy verses 4 to 5. Number 6. Extortion. The ability God gives to certain believers to minister words of comfort, consolation and counsel to other believers of the body in such a way that they feel helped. We read in Mark 12 verses 41 to 44 and Romans 12 verses 8 and 2 Corinthians 9 verses 2 to 8. Number 7, Exorcism. The ability God gives to certain believers to detect and expel demons or evil spirits. We can read this in Mark 5 verses 1 to 15, Luke 10 
to 17 to 20 and acts 8 to uh, um, acts 8 verses 5 to 8 and 16 verses 16 to 18 N number 8 faith the ability god gives to certain believers to believe trust and hope in his word of promise and to demonstrate confidence and to spy inspire other believers to accept and act on god's will and purposes you can read in acts 27 verses 21 to 25 and romans 4 verses 18 to 21 and hebrews chapter 11. number nine giving the ability God gives to certain believers to contribute their material resources to the ministry of the Lord liberally and cheerfully. Let's read Mark 12 verses 4 to 40, uh, 41 to 44 and Romans 12 verses 8 and also 2 Corinthians 8 verses 1 to 7 and 9 verses 2 to 8. Number 10 healing the ability god gives to certain believers to serve as healing mediators for god to cure illness and restore health their service might be apart from the use of natural or medical professional means we read acts verses 3 Chapter 3, sorry, verses 1 to 10, and chapter 5, verses 12 to 16, chapter 9, verses 32 to 35, and also 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 9 and verse 28. Number 11, helps. The ability God gives to certain believers to use their talents to assist in the facilitating of practical needs of others and thereby empower them to develop effectiveness in expressing their own spiritual gifts. And that is found in Mark 15 verses 40 and 41, Luke 8 verses 2 and 3, Acts 9 verses 36, Romans chapter 16, verses 1 and 2. Number 12, hospitality. The ability God gives to certain believers to demonstrate a receptive disposition in various settings by offering meaningful w welcome information and basic assistance. Read Acts verses 16. Verses 14 and 15, Romans 12, verses 9 to 13, Hebrews 13, verses 1 to 2, and 1 Peter 4, verses 9. Number 13, intercession. The ability God gives to certain believers to pray compassionately for others and observe specific answers to their prayers. We read Acts 12, verses 7 to 12 and 1st Timothy 2 verses 1 to 2 and also Colossians verses 1 I mean chapter 1 sorry verses 9 to 12 and chapter 4 verses 12 and we also read James 5 verses 14 to 16. Interpretation the ability God gives to certain believers to interpret tongues and potentially confess Fusing information so that others can understand and be edified. Read 1 Corinthians 12 verses 10 and 30 and also still 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verses 13 um, and 26 up to 28. 15. Knowledge, the ability God gives to certain believers to discover, analyze, and clarify information which is pertinent to the well-being of the church. We read in Acts 5 verses 1 to 11 and 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 
14 and also chapter 12 verses 8 and also in Colossians chapter 2 verses 2 to 3. Number 16, leadership. The ability God gives to certain believers to direct and inspire others to minister effectively and and is exercised with the attitude of humility. Acts chapter 7 verses 10 and chapter 15 verses 7 to 11. We have Romans chapter 12 verses 8 and 1 Timothy 5 verses 17. Number 17, mercy. The ability God gives to certain believers to comfort or help those who are in need of restoration, a special sensitivity towards persons who need reconciliation and revival. We find this in Matthew 25 verses 34 to 40 and Mark 9 verses 41, Luke 10 verses 33 to 35, Acts 11 verses 28 to 30. 18. Miracles. The ability God gives to certain believers to perform powerful acts which glorify him and edify his mission of redemption. We read Acts 9 verses 36 to 42 and Acts 19 verses 11 to 20. Romans 15 to 18 and 19 and then 2 Corinthians 12 verses 12. Missionary. The ability God gives to certain believers to share his mission of salvation cross-culturally and areas in which may be away from their geographical origin and dark to the light of truth. We read in Acts 8 verses 4 and chapter 13 verses 2 and 3 and also Romans 10 verses 15 and 1 Corinthians 9 verses 19 to 23. Number 20. Pastor, the ability God gives to certain believers to shepherd other believers for their spiritual welfare through counseling and encouraging believers to walk with Christ and discover and develop their spiritual gifts. We read in John 10 verses 1 to 18 and 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 7 and 1 Peter 5 chapter 5 um, verses 1 to 3. 21. Prophecy. The ability God gives to certain believers to receive and communicate his message so that hearers will be challenged to consider and respond in faith and might be and might include predictive content. We read in Luke 7 verses 26 to 27 and Acts 15 verses 32 and also Acts 21 verses 9 to 11. Romans 12 verses 6 as well. 22. Service. The ability God gives to certain believers to engage and assist individuals and groups in fulfilling their needs. The ability to make prudent use of resources to meet those needs in practical ways without demand for distinction or reward. We read this in Acts 6 verses 1 to 7, Galatians 6 verses 2 and 10, and then Titus 3 verses 14. Teaching. The ability God gives to certain believers to instruct and communicate his word effectively. We read Acts verses 18 to uh, verse 24 to 28 and then also Acts chapter 20 verse 20 up to 21 and Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 8. Number 24, tongues. The ability God gives to certain believers to speak another language not previously learned to glorify God 
and authenticate the message of salvation. We read in Mark 16 verses 17 and Acts 2 verses 1 to 3 and also Acts 10 verses 44 to 46 and also Acts 19 verses 1 and 1 Corinthians 14 um, verses 13 to 19. Number 25, voluntary poverty. The ability God gives to certain believers to sacrifice material comfort and luxury and adopt a simpler life in order to serve him more effectively. We read this in Acts verses 2, sorry, chapter 2 verses 44 and 45 and also Acts chapter 4 verse 34 to 37 and Second Corinthians chapter 6 verses 8 and also Second Corinthians chapter 8 verses 9. And lastly, number 26, wisdom. The ability God gives to certain believers to apply knowledge or information for its greater practical benefit and impart in, in wise counsel from God's word. We read Acts verses 6 to 3 and Acts. 10 and also 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 1 to 13 we also read James chapter 1 and 5 1 verses 5 and 6 and then 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 15 and 16 so a word of wisdom do not consider this guide as the final word in discovering your spiritual gift. Continue to study and work on your gifts. Discuss them with faithful members of the church. Talk to pastors, elders, and spiritual leaders of your church about your discovery. Use the abilities you know you have and you will acquire increased assurance as you continue to discover your spiritual gifts. What you have discovered is very likely the area in which you should focus your ministry activity until God gives you a new revelation. Most importantly, use your gift or you will lose it. Use what you already know and have just discovered through it. God will bless you and others. It is not enough to know what your gifts are are or is but it is very important to develop to develop your gifts and use them to the glory of god and salvation of your family your friends neighbors and others talents are talents used or talents multiplied success is not the result of chance or, or destiny it is the outworking of god's own providence the reward of faith and dis discretion of virtue and persevering effort the lord desires us to use every gift we have and if we do this we shall have greater gifts to use he does not supernaturally endow us with the qualifications we lack but while we use that which we have he will work with us to increase and strengthen every faculty by every Whole hard earnest sacrifice for the master's service, our power will increase. May God bless you and keep you. Until the next video, thank you. Goodbye.